In what might be the least surprising news of all time, the drug producers who are already profiting quite handsomely off of the vaccines and therapies for coronavirus uh, are seeking further profit. So while obviously everybody is grateful to have good vaccines for what has been a devastating virus, I think that it should be acknowledged that most all of the funding for these vaccines were public. Uh, the, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines received over $2 billion from the U.S. government to research and produce this vaccine. Now these companies get to profit off of those vaccines. Um, and, you know, Pfizer worked in, in collaboration with uh, another company, the name of which is, is escaping me right now, but they received about half a billion dollars from the German government, again, public dollars, to research and produce this vaccine. Yet these m massive corporations get to profit off of the vaccines. Um, and again, you guys, it's, it's, I am very grateful to the individuals at these companies who put the work in to create these vaccines. Um, I don't want to appear otherwise. And I, I encourage everybody to go get vaccinated so that we can, as a society, uh, minimize the death and suffering that has already been horrendous. Um, but we also need to acknowledge that these companies are horrendous actors in our society. This is not an unusual story. They get a lot of public funding for research and development uh, to create the miracle drugs. And they love to kind of create this like mythical view that they are like saviors and humanitarians and they're just after the cures for the worst diseases and this and that. No, they're after a profit. And they currently have an arrangement where they get to benefit massively from our corrupt political structure. So I have an article in The Intercept that I'll post in the description box here. Drug makers promise investors they'll soon hike COVID-19 vaccine prices. Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson pledged affordable vaccines, but only so long as there's a pandemic. This is by Lee Fong. The U.S. pharmaceutical firms behind the approved coronavirus vaccines, Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, and Pfizer, have quietly touted plans to raise prices on coronavirus vaccines in the near future and to capitalize on the virus's lasting presence. While the companies have enjoyed a boost in goodwill from the rush to develop vaccines, drug industry executives have noted the public is still sensitive to drug pricing and the reputational risk has so far curtailed their ability to reap large financial rewards. But that environment, they hope, will change once the pandemic ends, a date that that drug makers themselves reserve the right to declare. Pharmaceutical officials speaking at recent conferences and on calls with investors say they expect the virus will linger, morphing from a pandemic into a perennial endemic. And as COVID-19 mutations continue to spread and booster shots may be required on a regular basis, leaders from the three companies are enthusiastic about cashing in. Quote, as this shifts from pandemic to endemic, we think there's an opportunity here for us, said Frank D'Amelio, the chief financial officer for Pfizer at a conference. Additional factors such as the need for booster shots present a significant opportunity for our vaccine from a demand perspective, from a pricing perspective, given the clinical profile of our vaccine, end quote. Moderna and Johnson & Johnson have also pledged affordability for their vaccines for the duration of the pandemic, but have indicated to investors that they plan to return to more, quote, commercial pricing as early as later this year. The vaccines are already poised to be some of the most lucrative drugs of all time. The companies are expecting to bring in billions in profit this year alone, and all the major drug makers with approved coronavirus vaccines received investments and back orders from government agencies. Again, I'll post the rest of that piece in the description box. Hardly a surprise that these companies who consistently behave rapaciously and utilize the corruption they engage in to their benefit would continue to do the same, taking public funding for the research and development of a vaccine to combat a public health crisis, and then turning around and you know gloating about the amount of profit that they're going to make off of it. They also, by the way, you guys, have refused to allow other producers to make the vaccine, to, to hoard all of the profit. We could have uh, significantly sped up the production of the vaccine, ramped up production if they were willing to share um, their, you know, methods with other um, companies that could produce it. But they insisted on making it all themselves, all of these companies, so that they could hold on to and hoard 100% of the profits from it. Is that how a public health crisis ought to be treated? 
Should we use profit to incentivize the response to a public health crisis? Obviously not. Obviously not. It's outrageous that we still do. Um, I'm reminded of that when when the whole Harry and Meghan interview with Oprah happened, one of the responses that I thought was hilarious was how people from the UK were stunned by the drug advertisements that they saw on American television. They were all like, why, why is this done for profit? Shouldn't your doctor be telling you what you need to treat your ailment in, 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 in a manner where what's prioritized is your health, not the profit of the drug company? Like, why would you go in and ask about a drug that you saw an advertisement for? Shouldn't your doctor be trained to give you what is best rather than you going in and seeking a medication that you've been, you know, advertised into seeking? I mean, it's it's such a ridiculous ass backwards incentive structure and system that we have for for healthcare and medicine in this country. And Pfizer, Moderna and Johnson and Johnson showing that about as perfectly as possible.